alcohols undergo a wide variety of reactions. Today we are here to discuss some of them. Hello everyone, this is Chemniverse. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel. Number 1. Combustion Combustion of alcohols gives you two of the most common chemical substances, carbon dioxide and water. Number 2. Substitution to halogenolcanes One of the popular methods of making an alkyl halide is by the reaction of hydrogen halides with alcohols. Alcohols reacting with hydrogen halides produce water and alkyl halides, alternatively known as halogenolcanes. The reaction is carried out in two ways, one is by passing the dry hydrogen halide gas into the alcohol, and the other is by heating the alcohol with concentrated aqueous acid. Sometimes, hydrogen halides are generated by the reaction between sulfuric acid and sodium halides. The reactivity order of hydrogen halides is Hydrogen iodide is greater than hydrogen bromide than hydrogen chloride, which suggests that the larger the halide ion, the more capable it is to replace the hydroxyl group. The process often involves a step where the alcohols need to be heated under the reflux process. The produced alkyl halide in the end can be distilled off in the form of droplets. You might also think of producing halogenol canes in an alternative way. Just get the alcohol to react with thionyl chloride and the product is what you want. The byproducts, sulfur dioxide and hydrochloric acid are decent enough to leave the reaction system in the form of gases and only the halogenol cane remains in the system. Clearly, there is no need to produce anything in situ, no need to set up apparatus for the reflux process a more than ideal procedure for the lazy people all over the world. Wait, not over yet! Phosphorus pentahalide also reacts with alcohol to give alkyl halide, phosphoryl trichloride and hydrogen halide as products. Again, phosphorus trihalides can react with alcohols and produce alkyl halides, only difference being this time there is no phosphoryl halide or hydrogen halide produced, but there is phosphorus acid. Number 3. Reaction with Sodium Metal when alcohols react with sodium, hydrogen gas is evolved accompanied by the formation of a basic compound, sodium alkoxide, which is exclusively ionic in nature. Number 4. Oxidation to carbonyl compounds and carboxylic acids Before we start studying the oxidation reactions of alcohols, let us have a discussion on what an alpha carbon is. An alpha carbon is the one that is attached to the functional group of the compound. The carbon atom attached to the alpha carbon is known as beta carbon. The oxidation of alcohol requires the loss of one or more alpha hydrogens from the carbon attached to the hydroxyl group. Primary alcohol contains two alpha hydrogens. While being oxidized, it can lose one alpha hydrogen to form an aldehyde. When further oxidized, it loses the other alpha hydrogen to form a carboxylic acid. Primary alcohol can be directly converted into carboxylic acid by strong oxidation. Secondary alcohol has only one alpha hydrogen, which it can lose to form a ketone. Aldehydes and ketones are known as carbonyl compounds, as both of them possess the carbonyl group in their structural formula. Tertiary alcohol has no alpha hydrogen and as a result, it does not get oxidized. The oxidizing agents commonly used for the conversion are potassium dichromate, potassium permanganate, chromium trioxide, etc. Number 5. Dehydration of alcohols to alkenes. The term hydro refers to water. So hydration means to let water into the system, and thus dehydration refers to the phenomenon of water getting out of the system. Now, as you understand the idea of dehydration in real life, you can quite easily understand what the dehydration of alcohol means in organic chemistry. Alcohols undergo dehydration to lose one molecule of water and end up being converted into an alkane, the functional group of which is a carbon-carbon double bond. Here, sulfuric acid acts as a catalyst. Phosphoric acid and alumina can be used instead, but using alumina will require the reaction temperature to be 350 deg Celsius. Number 6. Formation of esters by esterification with carboxylic acids. Alcohol is converted directly into an ester when it is heated with a carboxylic acid in the presence of mineral acid, concentrated sulfuric acid, or dry hydrogen chloride. It should not be out of place to mention that this reaction is a reversible one. For example, ethanol reacting with ethanoic acid produces ethyl ethanol. Number 7. Formation of esters by a chelation with acyl chlorides. Ethanoyl chloride readily reacts with ethanol to form ethyl ethanol, the desired ester. This reaction evolves a lot of heat and that is why the alcohol needs to be kept in a cold condition. 
the reaction is carried out in the presence of aqueous sodium hydroxide so that the hydrogen chloride gas produced can be neutralized. Thank you for watching the video. Stay connected with us.